I'm Loida. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be addressing a very popular question that I've been getting a lot recently, and that is how do you focus on listings? Now, if you're new or even if you have been following me for a while, you have heard me say many times that I focus on listings. I do work with buyers. However, the buyers that I do work with are usually my sellers that have to buy. I don't specifically focus on buyers because many times we know sometimes they take forever and at the end of the day you are working on their schedule. So pretty much you have to go to show homes whenever they are available and many times you can't do certain things because again you have to be on their schedule. So like I said in this video I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how you can focus on listings so stay tuned. So obviously if you want to focus on listings go after the leads that are potential listings. I have made a video where I share with you guys how to find these leads, some of them for free. So let's begin with the obvious, for sale by owners. These are people that want to sell. Those are potential listings. Also, make me moves. On Zillow, you will see that there's a feature called make me move. And these are people that perhaps are testing the market or sometimes they put their property out there kind of like uh, pre-marketing it because they're not ready to move yet, but eventually they are. So they kind of just want to put it out there to see what kind of reactions they get. So for sale by owners and make me moves are two very, very good lead sources for you to go after specifically for listings. Aside from that, there are also expireds. Expires are listings that were on the market and for one reason or another, they came off the market unsold. Many times these homeowners still want to sell and they need another agent. Sometimes they had a bad experience with the last agent, the agent didn't communicate with them at all, and it's your job as a professional to come across as the expert when you are talking with these expireds and make them see that if they are very interested and motivated, you can help them. So again, expireds are an excellent source for listings. Something that I mentioned, and even in the last video, I said I don't really do open houses and open houses don't really sell a home. But if you are gonna do an open house, do an open house event. I actually have made a video where I explained to you guys the process of what an open house event is. And an open house event is not just me holding a home open for three or four hours, just sitting there. The strategy behind the open house event is that the days leading up to the open house, it is your job to door knock around the neighborhood and pretty much invite everyone to the open house. At the same time, you have a script and you're gonna be asking these homeowners, by the way, any plans for you to make a move anytime soon? By asking that question, you are trying to see who else wants to sell. So yes, at the end of the day, that weekend, you probably are gonna have an open house and maybe you're gonna get a few buyer leads, but ultimately your goal is also to get seller leads. So by having an open house event, you're more likely to come across potential sellers in that neighborhood. They may wanna know more information about the home down the street that you're gonna be holding open. The next thing you know, they're gonna tell you how their home compares to the one that you have for sale. And next thing you know, maybe they might want to sell as well. So those are pretty much the top sources that I would recommend for you to go after, especially to focus on listings. So just to recap, go after for sale by owners, make me moves and expireds. These are very, very hot leads that are going to be listings. And many times these sellers will also be buying. So it might be possible that you represent them for both sides. Again, I have made a video that I'll link somewhere here where you can click where I pretty much explain to you where you can find these leads, many of them which are free. So just to name a few, there is Zillow, there's Craigslist, and there are also a few other programs that you guys can subscribe to for a monthly fee that give you these expired and FISBO leads. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody else. If you have any other suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll see you guys on the next one.